Hi guys, welcome back to another Gigi FPD. Now today we'll be taking a look at the brand new MSI Z270 Crate Gaming Motherboard. So this is the box here, the board's inside. Uh, we'll be taking a look at what's in the box and the board in more detail. We'll also take a look at the BIOS and see what new features we have there. Now I'm not gonna show you the board yet. I really, really love this uh, color scheme on this board. I reckon MSI have nailed it on the head. So I wanna sort of keep that a secret until I actually do the, uh, the unboxing and the detailed uh, detailed overview of it. Some of the main features on this board, uh, this board has a standard Mystic lighting. Uh, there's no real RGB on board. There's a few little lighting effects, but nothing too crazy. I think for the um, MSI Crate Gaming, I don't have a price at this stage, but if you're familiar with their previous models, it's probably sort of mid range of the pack when it comes to price. Now, other features are we've got an IO cover, which is nice to see. They've got this really wicked color scheme. Um, I've never seen a board like this before. I think modders are gonna love this color scheme. So much you can do with it. So many different mods you can build around it. Uh, they've got steel slots on the PCI Express and on the DIM. Now, the DIM slots are quite a different one. It's a whole sort of uh, metal plate, which looks really nice as well. And then you've got the standard dual M.2, a heap of SATA and so on. So anyway, we won't spend any more time. We'll jump and we'll see what's in the box and we'll have a look at the board. Now, taking a look at the box, we can see we've got some interesting graphics on there. Uh, it might be giving away some details on how the motherboard looks with these claw marks. We can have a look at that a little bit later on. Uh, VR ready, you've got your CPU support, Optane ready. Uh, moving on to the back, we've just got the board itself and then just a heap of information with some of the main uh, features of the board. Now we'll jump in and we'll see what's in the box. Now taking a look inside the box, it's actually quite a small box on MSI. Now taking a look at this, this is just your media performance qualifications. Now this will just be no doubt for the media sample that I've received. They've just done a quick test uh, just to make sure that any testing and performance uh, reviewing I do is out of whack. I can sort of confirm to this card and just to make sure that everything sort of is legit. Now we've also got just sort of our dear editor uh, just some information where to get the latest BIOS. This will just simply be for my use, uh, for my reference. Uh, we've got the board in here in a nice large anti-static bag. We'll cover the board a little bit later on. Uh, having a look at what we get, we get your Crate Gaming Z270 motherboard manual, everything in there. Now this all looks to be English, uh, which it is, so that's quite, quite a large manual for all being in English. We have your IO shield there, now that, colors the, uh, that covers the same scheme as the board. We'll have a look at that a little bit later on. We have our quick installation guide. For most people, you'll just need this. Just folds out to all your main sort of areas on getting this board in your case and up and going. Uh, we have a SLI bridge there, real small sort of ribbon cable there. And SATA port wise, we have two of these black ones, one straight and one with a right angle on one end. Now MSI have thrown in these interesting ones I've never seen before. These look silver, these look pretty cool. Uh, one's a straight to straight and one's a straight with a right angle on it and they look really nice um, with those. And moving on, what else do we get? We get our cable labels. If say you will have like your C drive, your D drive, your games, you can stick them on your SATA cables as well. And it also sort of gives you an idea on sort of what uh, to do if you don't understand what those labels are for. Uh, they also have a thank you for choosing our product, MSI register for warranty purposes and whatnot. And then of course you have your MSI drivers and utilities, but you probably don't need this. Just head online and you can grab the latest ones off there. Now taking a look at the Crate Gaming Board, we can see MSI has gone for maximum wow factor. We've got sort of these white claw marks going along here. Uh, we got sort of the Crate Gaming here, we've got a lot going on. And I think for this board like this, MSI has really nailed it on the head. We've even got painted black steel armor slots and they've even got sort of the white follow through on that as well. We've also got steel armor on the dim slots. Now it's not your sort of uh, standard steel armor. They've gone with a whole block uh, sort of that surrounds the whole memory bank, which looks really nice as well. They've gone with a uh, IO cover, which is nice. And they got the Crate Gaming up there. Now we'll take a look at some of the main features. We'll start sort of left and work our way clockwise. We have an eight phase power design, uh, eight for your CPU, two for your four DDR4 memory banks. For CPU support, of course, we've got the latest 7th gen processor support, such as your 7600Ks and your 7700Ks, but we've also got previous 6th uh, gen support like your 7600s and your 6600s and so on. Moving on to fan headers, we have a total of six. We have one, two, three, uh, four, there's another one, five and six. So I think that's about the right amount. A any more than that, you probably just won't use. We've also got a water pump 
header as well, which is this one here, which is nice to see. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, four DDR4, these are running at 3800 megahertz plus OC. And they've also got this wicked steel armor plate, which I think looks really nice as well. And it's sort of like a black nickel. It's not like a real silver color. Now looking at our USB 3 headers, we have two USB 3.0. I think that's important these days to have two. A lot of cases are coming out with four USB 3.0 ports on the front. Now interesting, we've got one uh, straight to the board and one at right angles. And also same with the SATA configuration, we have a total of six SATA over here. We've got four being right angles and two being straight to the board. Uh, moving down the bottom, of course, all your standard, uh, your USB, your front panel uh, power connectors. Strangely enough, they've got a ribbon cabled uh, parallel port. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna ever be running a parallel printer, but for some reason MSI has thrown that on. And of course, we've got the RGB strip header as well. Just to bear in mind, this board doesn't have any RGB on it as on this board. It does have your uh, lighting effect here, but it's just got the RGB strip header here. Now moving on to your PCIe Express configuration. Now SLI, you'll get a maximum of two. Uh, cards crossfire you'll be able to get three only because crossfire you can run in a four by slot so you get a two-way uh, SLI three-way crossfire and now these slots will run at one at 16 uh, two at eight or three at eight eight and four and of course we've got three of your PCI gen 3 one by slots moving on to m.2 connectivity we have two we got one here one here uh, I believe one of them is a 110 millimeter uh, up the top and your bottom one is an 80. I've never ever seen anyone running 110 millimeter M.2. Now these support both PCIe Gen 3 4x or just your standard SATA in case you're running an older M.2. Now moving on to the audio, we have your Realtek uh, ALC 1200 codec and that's your 7.1 uh, HD surround sound if you're into that. And moving on to some of the other connectors on the board, we have your standard EPS 8 pin that looks to be in a sort of normal area, nothing funky over here. And your 24, 24 pin looks to be in the right area as well. Now taking a look at the rear I.O., we see your PSD combo port for your keyboard or mouse. Interesting, we have two standard USB uh, 2 ports. Didn't think many boards did come with USB 2 anymore, but there's two there. We have a standard DVI D uh, video output there. We have a HDMI port here. Now it was hard to find out the correct version of this uh, port, but after referencing the max resolution it could do was 4K at 30 hertz. I could uh, verify that was uh, version 1.4 HDMI, so that's still pretty good. Uh, moving on to these two here, we have USB 3.1 Gen 2. Now these are Type A and Type C, so for your latest devices, those are a must. The remaining one, two, three, four. USB ports, uh, your standard USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. And moving on to the audio, we have your standard analog audio. Interesting, there's no uh, digital out. And for your gigabit, we have the Intel i219V gigabit LAN port. Now seeing how the IO shield looks, we'll just line this up here. And you can see that does look nice. There's plenty of information on there. It's not just your standard uh, silver sort of tin one. They've gone to the effort to get the logo up there, the type C ports and all that, which looks really nice. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much it for this unboxing quick overview of the MSI Crate Gaming Motherboard. Now, fortunate, fortunately, my only CPU, my 7600K, was tied up with another project, so I didn't really go into detail. I didn't really want to test the 6700K or so on. So I did have a look at the BIOS, and as you can see, the MSI BIOS on this board is very, very familiar with their previous uh, Z170 BIOSes. So if you used MSI before, you'll feel right at home. They've got their standard advanced mode with all your overclocking, and then they've got their easy mode as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I probably will use this in a build later on in the coming year. I'll probably try and do something really sick to match this uh, sort of aggressive theming that uh, MSI has done on this board. But yeah, I just wanna thank MSI for sending this out to check out, and thanks to you guys for watching, and stay tuned for next time.